I'm Jeremy from Rockman Wheels, uh, talking to you today about the Kawasaki Mule SX, and this is the XC edition. This mule is a redesign of the traditional 610, so it went and gave us a new front line, something uh, a little bit more updated. The key features of this mule, and where they'll really apply, is size. This is only 52 inches wide, it's, it's uh, you know, nine and a half feet long, so it's a lot closer to an ATV dimensions, but offers you all the capabilities of side-by-sides. They're built extremely rugged. They're built for guys who are gonna work with them on a farm or someone who has a big property that needs to get around it, doesn't want their eardrums being blown out. This engine's extremely quiet, uh, but needs a tough, tough, tough machine. So on this mule, they also redesigned our cockpit here. So we've got or rear differential, we could lock and unlock it. So if you need to have uh, some turf capability and some ground that's a little bit softer that you don't want to damage, we can do it with that. We've got the two wheel and four wheel drive selectable as well. And then our high, our low range, our steering is adjustable. Tilt steering, infinite adjust. And then we've got some storage ca capacity that they've worked on. It gives a little bit more storage. So we've got this front box, which is nice and deep. And we also have this little glove box here, which is very deep as well. So being able to carry some extra straps, some gloves, or anything you might need is gonna be easy. The neat feature of these little mules is our air intake is up here. So they've made it run, so it's always gonna have some fresh air. There's no worries about getting any rain or anything like that in your engine, and it very efficiently placed right up here. So this bench sheet is configured for two passengers. We've got the uh, lap belt for both the uh, passengers. It's very cushy. They, they've made a very good job at making this comfortable. And under this seat, we have access to our air filter, we have access to our fuel tank, and our battery on the other side. This was just probably one of the big features we all look for in a side-by-side, -side, uh, especially the utility side-by-side, -side, is practicality. We've got a nice big box here all made out of steel. So if you're gonna work with it, this will take a beating. It also has the dump capability, which is which is fun. And we have the uh, tailgate to make it so anything you're gonna put back here is gonna be easy to get out. Our height of the box is very low as well. So easy unload and easy loading. Impression, I see everything, everything's fairly accessible. The seat's really comfy. Although it looks just like a standard bench seat, they did put uh, some good padding in the foam. And the suspension's comfortable. Like, I'm on an off-road trail here. Not very worrisome. The engine's quiet. You know, nothing's getting flinged up from the tires or nothing. You know. we got to drive this for what it is. And it is meant to be, you know, a property uh, vehicle or even for hunting. You know, I'm an avid hunter. And this would definitely be a good machine. Uh, it's quiet getting to and from the tree stands. It's... It's easy to get in and out of. You know, it's not really set up for trail riding, so we don't have those huge restraints or anything on the side. And the driving's good. The little 400cc engine that doesn't have any problem moving them, this machine. And it's got a lot of torque. There you go, yeah, just short work of everything. And it still has some decent suspension, so we're not, uh, we're not feeling every like bump and crack or anything like that. I test it out now on a on a nice big hill and I'll show you where the mule gets its name. It doesn't quit. It'll just uh, give you the power to, to climb up anything really. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So I've got the rear differential lock and I'm gonna stay in two-wheel drive. I don't think I need the four-wheel drive for this. You know, we've got our engine in the back, so we do have good traction on those back wheels. Got a little bit of a muddy part here. Yeah, no big deal for the mule. And look at this hill. It's steep. And there we go. Just no quit from the mule. It just chugs right along. No problem. This is what lets the mule really take a beating and never give up. It's this 400cc carbureted engine uh, and it's very close to an industrial engine so it's going to be a low revving 
3200 RPM, uh, making it so you're never straining it. It's always in its optimum torque range and it, de it delivers very, very well. They, they guys have used them on farms and all kinds of things and they can't seem to kill this engine. Uh, it's limited at 40 kilometers an hour. So if you do have uh, some staff or anybody that's gonna be using this, they won't be able to go fast enough to damage this machine.